Africa was at the heart of discussions during the 67th United Nations General Assembly, which ended on Monday. The crises on the continent worry the so-called international community. However, six days of negotiations made little progress on conflict resolution. From the 25th of September to the 1st of October, world leaders met in New York, with the Malian crisis dominating debate. A meeting on the Sahel, chaired by Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, which included French President Francois Hollande and several African heads of state, gave a political impetus to an issue that's remained deadlocked. Notably, the UN proposed the creation of a special Mali envoy. But for the moment, the official request by the Malian government for an international military intervention to retake territory in the north has been ignored. Despite accepting the idea of deploying armed forces, the operational details remain vague. Members of the Security Council won't give the go-ahead in the absence of a detailed plan. Another theme, the crisis in the DRC. Besides a symbolic gesture, the Rwandan and Congolese presidents shaking hands, no tangible progress was made. During a meeting on the 27th of September, Rwanda refused to sign a joint declaration. A text which condemns several officers from the M23 rebel movement. For several months, Kinshasa and the UN have accused Kigali of supporting this armed group, which is involved in fighting in the east of the DRC. The question of Western Sahara was on the agenda. Several leaders from the continent proclaimed their support for the region's independence. It's currently under the control of the Moroccan authorities. South Africa and Namibia stated their support for the right to self-determination, pushing for a referendum. A number of countries have called for UN-mediated negotiations between the pro-independence Polisario Front and Rabat. Addressing the UN also allowed several African leaders to set out their case for a greater role for Africa in the international arena. Nigerian President Goodluck Jonathan and his South African counterpart Jacob Zuma called for better African representation on the Security Council. While two-thirds of UN military intervention takes place in Africa, the continent itself has no decision-making powers in matters relating to peace and security.